Hi guys, my name is Eri and this is my story. It all started when I was in, when I met Christ was in secondary school, when I was in SS1. And I was, I had so many struggles, like a lot of struggles, pornography, having bad friends, peer pressures, a lot of things. It happened in my secondary school that sometimes we have parties, parties that is not legalized and all those kind of things. And from there, I never even knew God. Like, wasn't very, very strong in God. Christianity life, how like it is. I was a church girl at that day. But on how I met God was His mercies. It was when I was in SS3. I was praying to God that God should reveal himself. It got to one point that I was so, so tired of everything I was doing that in my academics, it was affecting my academics life, was affecting my emotional life, was affecting me mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and even, 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 even physically, and my academics too. So I just, it got to one point, I got to one point, I was like, God, I'm so tired of this, that I had to go and pray to God that God reveal yourself to me and the way he revealed himself to me was so, so, so quite shocking because it was in the middle of the night. He used my dad's image to speak to me. And I was, because normally I don't really speak, I don't really have this free access towards my dad. I prefer speaking to my mom. Sorry, dad, I love you. But I prefer speaking to my mom than speaking to my dad because I know that my dad doesn't really have time for me and the rest. So all of a sudden, I was so shocked when I saw him. He was talking to me, and they were seeing everything that I was passing through, and I was like, wow. And I woke up, like, I, I woke up, I was feeling sleepy, and then I slept back, and I woke up the next day. I woke up the next day, and that's how... Everything just changed. The songs that I listened to, like in my phone, I just deleted all the playlists that I had in my, in my phone. I just deleted it. And I started having, my, there was a changes to the extent my mom was like, what's happening to you? What's happening to me? And everything, like it's, it's my family was so, 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 so surprised that I could change. And there's one thing I will let you guys know. Never look down at someone or don't look at a fall of a person. If someone falls down, so it doesn't mean that he's not going to rise up. Even in the scripture, it says, um, he said in the psalmist, he said, David, he said, don't laugh when I fall because I will rise again. Because this, in, this is this life, everybody has their falls and their ups and downs. People will fall, Christians will fall, but don't look at the Christians that because the Christian is someone that goes to church, someone that prays and do this and that, and you now backslide all of a sudden and you are now casting him or condemning, condemning. Just like the story of the, the prostitutes that the Jewish people wanted to kill, like wanted to stone, that if not because of Jesus Christ was there at the right time to save her, that's how she would have been dead, condemned and the rest. So that is how I met Christ and everything. From there, when I met Christ, things started becoming easy, started hearing from God, speaking with God, like, believe you me, God is inside me. Forget the fact that everybody is saying, Jesus, God is big, God, yes, I agree, God is big, but he's inside you. He said in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word lives among men. That means he's living with you. And it's living inside of you. Those are the fruit of the spirit that we have. Love, joy, peace, and everything. Everything is referring back to the spirit of the, the Holy Ghost. Yet, so thank you so much. And this, I hope you learn from my story. Okay, on how I jo- joined Talk with Christ. First, the uncle, I'm um, sorry, the, my boss, Lekon. Uh, he just met me on the, and I was just going, in my mind was if I was thinking about something else. He just came and met me. I was like, he wants, God spoke to him that I should join and um, um, talk with Christ. And in my mind, I was like, with everything that I have, responsibilities I have, I want to now waste time and do all these things. First, I counted it as something useless. But when he told me, go pray about it and tell me, come back and tell me what God asked us to do. And I did, shockingly, 
like I got the confirmation that I should just join and I joined I noticed that there was this relationship that is so 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 tight like this intimate relationship that you have with God like your daily activities you got to a point that I did clothes that I'm wearing I do ask the Holy Spirit that Holy Spirit which dress should I wear? Which what should I do? What should I do? Which book should I? Which topic should I do? Like, I had to test. This talk, forget talk with Christ has helped me a lot, spiritually, academically, emotionally. I bet you you're going to enjoy it so much with talk with Christ. Um, sorry, last thing. Can you tell us like one standout experience you had with Christ? Any standout experience? Okay, the standard experience that I had with Christ was during my exams, like jump exams. I never planned I was going to write jump last year, that's 2020. Sorry, 2021. I never had mind that I was going to write jump or do anything. All of a sudden, my dad just called and was like, Every I'm going to write jump this year. I was like, me, that I didn't prepare for it and the rest. And funny enough, we didn't have money, like, we were so broke on the rest. Someone just called my dad, and from there, I was praying that I wanted to go to school, that 2020, because I was seeing most of my classmates going to school, and that kind of thing, I was feeling so depressed, feeling so worried and everything. That means I was eager, like, I wanted to go to school, I wanted to go to school. So, and there was no money on ground, there was nothing, nothing, and I didn't believe that it was a private school that... God actually planned for me. My dad was even thinking, maybe, okay, maybe if you write your job, you just go to polytechnic and from there you find your square root and rest. But God had the plan, was like, no, my plan towards you is of good and not of evil. That's what he said in the scripture. And he said, he can do all things, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. See, one thing about Christianity life is that once you trust in God so much, First, the things that will come up is number one, fear. Second thing that will come up is doubt. But he has he said in his word that for he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of sound mind. If you can use those, if you can use the word of Jesus Christ to overcome all those things, believe you me, the trust will come like a baby, like a child. Because this life, you have to believe. Is it that you believe one thing or another? You have to believe either or, or Jesus Christ. But he gave us, he, that's why he gave us the spirit of choice. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.